Hello and welcome to one more episode of Ideas to the World. Yeah. Enjoy your trip. Modificating the focus of attention. Modificating our focus of attention it is crucial to regulatory emotions. Sometimes it is a technique. Meaning, sometimes we are on traffic, for example, and the goddamn bastard put us just in front of me. I had to press the brake pedal, man. That wasn't really fun. And we have some anger and frustration accumulating inside of us. So what the hell can we do here? Well, according to this method of regulating our emotions, we can just change our focus of attention. So, instead of staying right in front, looking to the car and remember all that, those lovely names that you want to call him, of course, maintain looking to the road because, well, you have to keep paying attention. But you can change your focus and attention, for example, more to the music that is playing on the radio. You can even put, put the volume up and just pay the attention and enjoy the vibe or look to enjoy the vibe. It is hard on the beginning, yes, fuck yes. But as you practice, it will be an ability that, that, that you will develop and it will be more easier and easier and easier to change from the stimulus that is annoying you, especially if it is superficial, like a guy putting on the front, to a stimulus that is more happy to you, like music. And music, it is perfect, because can you be sad listening to a mu your favorite music that it puts you happy and full of energy? Of course, no. And this is why it can be really powerful or interesting. For example, if somebody says to you that something that you don't like, well, instead of being ruminating, ruminating, ruminating on that, you can just go play some video game or do anything. Read a book, read a book. Read the Bible, read uh, whatever you want. Something that will make you change your focus of attention. So that emotion whew, comes down. This can be an interesting practice that we can insert in some times of our day. So ask yourself, when can you use this? And remember, during your life, which moments do you already use this? Because you probably... If you don't use, you already used one. But be more conscious about it and insert more repeatedly and more, well, and more times. Also, changing the focus of attention is like an ability, like I told you. And uh, I give you the example of doing it in the car, which is a nice example. But also, you can add this with another technique, like focusing on your breathing almost of meditating, being in the present moment, focusing on your breathing, in, out. And as you're changing your attention to your breathing, you also can add a technique to relax or to relax your body more or calm down your body through breathing. For example, you focus attention to your breathing and as you inhale, You can be just stuck for three minutes and then exhale again, three and then exhale again. And the exhalation should always be longer than the inhalation. And you don't, have an, you don't even have to be stuck for like three seconds. You can just inhale and as you exhale, you exhale longer than the inhalation. Like this, you are doing two in one. You are changing your attention and you are also acting with your physiology so your thoughts come down and you want with life and maybe attribute a new meaning later on in life. If you want also to know more about reinterpreting situations, meaning adding a new meaning to them so you are more healthy with your emotions, go check the video that uh, I talk about how to reinterpret situations better. It is on my channel, or I will look to put it somewhere here. You want to know more? Subscribe for more and activate the bell. Please tell me in the comments how it was your trip. You want to know something more about this topic? Also tell me because I can make an extended video. And if you are interested in human behavior and you want to master yours, I have weekly classes on my educational platform School for Adults, where you can get all the wisdom to master your behavior. And besides that, 
we also have video calls where you can put your questions after you put into practice the content that you learned from me, which is amazing. And it's in group, so we can have multiple insights as we share our experiences. Also, it is completely optional and you can be anonymous there. Don't waste more time. Enter now in School for Adults. You have 15 days to test. If you are not satisfied, money back. All links in the description. Thank you so much. And as always, good luck.